Hello, my name is George. This drawing was created using AutoCAD 2008 and contains two viewports which are currently frozen. Also, it is only one of many such drawings that I have uploaded to YouTube and there will be more. My students at the Technical Institute where I teach have fun with them and I'm sure that you will too. Our purpose here is to recreate the solid model of the object shown. The first thing to do is to thaw the layer called viewports. Now we are able to see the outline of the viewports. Erase the smaller viewport which contains the solid object. Double click inside the large viewport to get into model space. Use zoom real time and pan so that we'll have more empty space in which to work. Now zoom and enlarge the right side view. Using a polyline trace over a portion of the object. Move what has been drawn to the right. Zoom extends. Zoom in on the top view. Use the rectangle command or with a polyline trace over the outline of the large rectangle. Move the large rectangle to the right. Copy the two holes from the top view and move them to the right. Be sure to put them in their proper location on the new view that we just made. Once again, with the rectangle command or with a polyline, trace over the small rectangle. Now move the small rectangle above the top view. Zoom extends. Move the three new creations closer together. From the view toolbar, select the southeast isometric view. Zoom in on the new creations. Extrude the small rectangle to a height of 0.25. Extrude the large rectangle downward to a distance of 0.24 rather 0.34. To extrude downwards I typed minus 0.34. Now move the smaller extrusion to its proper place beneath the large extrusion. Using the union command add those two rec rectangles blocks together. Extrude the remaining piece to a distance of 0.34. Using the modify uh, 3D rotate command, rotate this last piece 90 degrees. Again, using the modify 3D rotate command, rotate this piece an additional 90 degrees. Now move this piece to its proper location on the object. Using the union command, add those two blocks together. The last remaining thing to do is to extrude the holes and then subtract them from the object. I typed in minus 0.75 be 
because I wanted the extrusion to go downward and make sure that it penetrated the object. And so, using the subtract command, I removed the subtracted the holes from the object. Using the visual aids toolbar, it's a simple matter to shade the object. Now, zoom extends. Now, using the view toolbar, zoom to the top view. Double click outside the window so as to get back into paper space. Type the word M V I E W, M view so as to create another viewport. Double click inside this new viewport, then zoom and pan so it is to show the model properly. By properly, I mean showing the southeast isometric view. Now zoom in on the solid model to show it to better advantage. Now double click inside the larger viewport to get into model space on that view. Double click outside the large viewport so as to get back into paper space. Make certain that the large viewport as well as the small viewport that they are both on the layer called viewports, which has the color blue because now we're going to freeze that layer. By freezing the layer viewports, the rectangle windows disappear, but the drawings remain. This is the end of this tutorial. However, the next clip was added so that you might become aware of other videos which I have produced. For more information about my mechanical design guide and for other solid model drawings, please contact me via email. Thank you for watching and I hope that you will want to practice making such drawings.